calf who wants trees. Everybody's looking for something. What are you looking for? You're looking for somebody to lay out a plan where your taxes are stable. Where you know when you go to the supermarket, you're going to be able to afford what's on those shelves. Well, thanks to this beloved state that we all decided to move in, or where Mr. Captain was born in, they have unfunded mandates, and they come across the board. There have been administrations long before me, because I've only been in America 10 months. I was handed a bag full of bees and said, here, hide this someplace. This is the worst economy the country's seen since the Great Depression. Anybody want to argue that with me? Absolutely not. You can't. Half of us, if not all of us, whatever we had in savings was gone by some crook on Wall Street that the government bailed out, but a little local business can't get bailed out. So we put the budget together. We started looking over the years of the trends of what administrations have done. They used the money as they thought fit. They went out and they bonded for this and they purchased this and they did that, which they thought was wise planning. And then they had some extra money left over and they artificially funded a budget and told you they were fiscally responsible with no future plans. So now you have, you're looking at 2010, and we want to buy, we not buy, we want to get more police officers. We want to be able to save trees. We want to be able to say we're doing this and doing that. Then the state comes along and tells you 2.5%. That's your budget. That's it. You can only increase spending 2.5%. But if the council says, okay, we go 3.5%. Then the state comes and puts a cap levy on you and says you can't increase taxes more than 4%. Well, here's your wake-up call. State health benefits are going to go to 16% this year. Police pensions are going to go to 19.75. PERS, which is your public employees union, 12.75 is a projection. You've, you've been paying for negotiations of contracts for years that have superseded the 4%, that are level around 5% that raises. Each and every one of you know when you go to the grocery store every week, something went up at least a penny or a dime. Correct? Mm -hmm. yes. You think all these people that are working in the state, in the, city, in the municipality, said, okay, we're not going to get a raise? So when you put a budget together, how could you turn around and say, I'm not raising taxes? We need to know all your bills are going up. So, and then people turn around and tell you how fiscally irresponsible they were. But what they don't tell you is certain things, like the open space tax was voted on twice and was approved. What they don't tell you is the third time it was knocked down because you, the voters, said no. When we put the budget together with no help from certain individuals, we found the floor in the way it was written for the open space tax. This year, by the way, congratulations, you all bought another $1.2 million worth of trees. <laughs> so we don't have no police officers, we have plenty of trees. So when you need a cop, hug a tree. You can continue to go down this road. I choose not to. I chose to let you know you have a decision to make what you do with your money. And enable for this government to work for you, we invite you into the government. At least that's what I've done. And I've given you a choice of what to do. I've opened up boards and commissions for you to tell me where I'm making a mistake. Because I don't profess to know everything. I'm only a volunteer. I'm not a political politician. I make mistakes. I own up to them. I didn't write the Declaration of Independence. I wish I would have. The whole thing, ladies and gentlemen, is without proper planning from the very beginning, without input from each and every one of you. Now times that throughout the entire town. We have a lot of intelligent people looking to help out. But there are so many restrictions put on Jackson Township that you just can't turn around and say, I'm gonna put five police officers on a job. Because I thought that was it was that easy. It's not. Reality will not let you spend money you can't raise. But the unfunded mandates, DEP, COA, Pinelands, the Abbott districts, so what we pay for schools that we don't even, our kids don't even go to. This is all incumbent upon you, the voter. The, electric, the, the election that's coming up now, this is about you. It's not about any one of us. You're going to have the power to move the assembly, the governor, and up here as well. Regardless who you vote for, ultimately it's yours. It's not me. I can make you all the promises in the world and not hold any one of them. And you'll forget about it all the other 